We are going to move on to our 9.45 a.m. item, 6.4, presentation and consideration of the 2020 crop report. And with us, we have our Ag Commissioner. And if you would like to come up and take a seat. Good morning. If you put them right on the tip of the nose, it works great. <laughs> okay. Uh, the total gross value of AG in Lake County in 2020 was 75,471,368, a decrease of 29% from 2019. Decrease was caused by wine grapes at 30%, timber at 98%, walnuts at 49%, and peel crops of, of, of 28%. Leading crops were wine grapes, pears, livestock production, and field crops. Gross value of wine grapes was 52 million. 509,710, a loss of 31,205,412, of 31, which are, yeah, that's, that's pretty big. The tonnage was down 7,726 tons. Price per ton decreased by $456 per ton. The total acres down was down by five acres, which is a first for me that wine grapes acres actually de uh, declined. The problems with wine grapes was, a, was the perceived smoke damage issue and labor issues. By the way, I should have said in the first one, this is the third straight year that the ag has, gone, has, has declined in value. And ironically, once the 2017 was the highest ever. Um, so we've gone down since the highest ever. Gross value of pears was 16,628,482, a gain of $2,060,000. The tonnage was, was down by 3,256 tons. Price per ton increased $168 per ton. So the acres were down 381 acres. The problem with pears is labor. It's hard to get people to pick pears at the same time that some another, another industry is using the same, the same labor. And yeah, I'll, I'll go into more at the, towards the end. Livestock production was 2,553,500, an increase of 1,014,000. The, the, increases, the increase was due to new businesses that are, that are in the area. The gross value of field crops was 1,235,000. Although this is a decline of 485,000, made the top four because, because of the sharp decline of the, of the walnut industry. They're hurting bad. Walnut industry sharply declined due to overproduction, which means low prices, coupled with severe frost damage that occurred in October and November of 2019. 2021 looks like an even worse year. For the, for the pear industry because of the same circumstances. Gross value of timber decreased by 98% due to, due, due to low prices caused by, fires, by fire salvage operations receiving low prices. And if you have a normal operation, you're just gonna sit there and, and, watch, and watch your trees grow until the, price, until, until the price comes up and who knows when that's gonna be. Volume commodities declined in gross value, miscellaneous fruits and nuts, 4%, and livestock and poultry production, four, and that, de de that decreased 40%. Following a commodities actually increased in value, uh, nursery went up, went, went up to 30, 39%, and vegetables on uh, uh, 220, 20%. It was again caused by some bias to new businesses. At the last minute yesterday, we, we added hemp. And basically, as you can see, if, hopefully you have the new one. There were eight growers covering 12 acres, and we have no value because they didn't have to record value, and the state doesn't, doesn't give us that, that, that information, so we're, so we're stuck. Although I, I'm going to go on out on them and say probably none was sold or, or very or very little was, was, was sold. 
because it, 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 it appears that the demand is, is, is limited. 2019, we have even less people. I mean, compared to 2019, I'm sorry, compared to 2021, we have three people with eight acres. So it's declining significantly. I wish to express my appreciation to the many in individuals and organizations who, who contributed to making this report possible. Everyone seems to ask me, what's, what does the future hold? or 2021, pears are gonna be about the same. Walnuts will be even worse. Wine grapes will be about the same. Hemp I always gave you already is gonna be worse and timber no change. So basically whatever we have in 2020, in my opinion is gonna happen in, in, in 2021. Any questions? Thank you very much for your presentation. Thank you so much for your report. Um, I know that I had some questions that I had asked you and I appreciate the fact that uh, you uh, gave me uh, all, all the answers and gave me a little bit more clarification and understanding on this. Uh, Supervisor Peiska. So um, how much of the acreage reduction do you think is related to um, converting to cannabis? Well, that's significant. Well, not significant. That's too high. I would say with walnuts, it'd be, it would be, it would be uh, no, 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 noticeable, but not maybe five or ten percent. Uh, walnuts are walnuts are are, are 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 a tough one because you have abandoned orchards that you could re that you could regenerate, but see if you do or if you don't, uh, grapes some. Maybe maybe hundred acres, uh, pears, probably two hundred of, of the acres of the, 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 the three eighty eighteen were 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 for cannabis. And the problem comes in. I'll be just frank here. Uh, the inflated value of ag land, and when with traditional values, well, when the traditional values, with the traditional crops values don't really match up. Um, if land gets too high in value, then you can't grow grapes, wanders, or pears. It's just too high. So it look, it says that there's the acreage from uh, for walnuts was stayed the same for 2019 and 20. Correct, but 2022, I'm gonna drop that probably in half. Okay, that's what I was wondering about. How that's because there's no market. And there's no, there's, there's no market and there, and the, and the chips are, and the trees are hurting and people may want to sell just because they can't afford to keep, to keep the property, pay the taxes because they can't make, make it, make living off the crop. Yeah. Um, do you, about with the timber numbers, does that have anything to do with the mills being closed during COVID? I don't think it does. I talked to the. I talked to. We got their name, but the 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 the, 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 the timber person, the people that I did I deal with a lot. He and they and they didn't mention that. It was just that all the, all the fires, they have to salvage the timber as soon as possible before the beetles get to them. Yeah. Which means and the and the and they ship out logs. They don't ship out boards. And it just they have to wait until the price gets up to sell any of their trees. Yeah, and we're definitely dealing with a significant beetle issue this year, too. Okay. Thank you for your questions and comments. Anyone else have a question or comment? I just wanted to highlight something, something that I wasn't uh, quite aware of, and also wondering if you have any um, past data, because it only seems to show, unless I'm mistaken, for uh, this year, and that's the organic farming. The organic farming is, is, is in the report now. Oh, it's a new addition to the report, so there's nothing yeah, to look at. Yeah, we, we added two things yesterday. One was the hemp, one was the organic. But the organic, frankly, is just acres and number of growers. The state has will not provide us with any figures for value. Right. So I can give you those, that information. But I, I did want to mention that at this moment in time, based on the total 
uh, acres of ag uh, that is within the report that it looks like organic farming is approximately 18 to 19 percent of the total acres, um, which I didn't think it was that large of a percentage. And so I, I'm happy to see this information in front of me. Uh, but I think that the value of it would make a huge difference in understanding uh, what is the future of organic farming in Lake County. Um, and what, what could be the trends. And until we have more years of reports, it's hard to be able to do that. But I, I interrupted you as well to talk about the uh, organic farming. Well, the organic, don't get your hopes up. <laughs> we, have the, we, have, we have the number one, the number one crop organically is walnuts. When walnuts fall, you're gonna see that acres go to half at best, right. maybe in less than half than what you're seeing now. And I see here that it says all other nut crops, 2,051 right. acres. And that's about, I would say, 60 to 70% of the entire organic farming happening. Here. We have so. some pears, but uh, walnuts are, are in bad shape. Yeah. No, thank you very much for those additions. And again, for answering all the questions. Anything further before I open it up for the public? Let's go ahead and open it up for the public. I see no hands up in the Zoom room and go ahead and come up to the microphone. John Moss, I'd like to know where the public can get a copy, a paper copy of this. And if it is public record, this report and where we can find it. Thank you. If we don't have a computer. You don't have a computer then you can go to our office and we can you can and you could pick one up or you could or, we, or where we could call us and we can and we can mail you one i do have a spare copy here <laughs> if you want one and just want to make sure you heard that joan that it, he does have a spare copy right here right now and so if you want to leave today with that copy it sounds to me like it was offered thank you for that and yes, absolutely, this is public information. It was already placed as an attachment to our agenda and so it has been made public since uh, last Thursday when the agenda went up. I believe it was Thursday. And so with that, I believe that closes our public comment. Um, I, I, I will say that it is um, a bit, a bit I, I don't know what word to use, but the loss of the... Um, economic uh, stimulation from ag dropping from over 100 million to down to 76 uh, is concerning. Um, and, and I hope that uh, either things will turn around uh, just because of, of changes in the markets and whatnot, um, or maybe when you really need to look at things and understand what policies could be made uh, to help those things turn around. Uh, but I do know I appreciate the report, but I'm left with some concern uh, as to where we're going and, and what the trend looks like, as you said, since 2017. And so um, that, that's my last comment that I have. So thank you very much thank for the report. Thank you.